With um, the celebration of Eid coming up, it's definitely the busiest time of the year because people are either buying gifts for themselves or their you know, friends and loved ones. Modesty means something different to me, what it means to you. And it could mean you being just comfortable in what you're wearing, um, whether that be long sleeve, whether that be short, whatever it is, as long as you are comfortable, that is modest, that is modest wear for me. What we see from the consumer research we've done at Ogilvy is that people want a huge variety of food. They're looking for multiple cuisines. They want something out of the ordinary. They are telling us that they are thinking about fashion, that they're looking for things like capsule wardrobes, for clothing that fits with this new mindset that they are adopting during Ramadan. We also see that there's a sense of health and wellness, actually, that's really starting to develop. So not your traditional Ramadan foods necessarily, but things that can help well-being, but also ways that people can maintain health and their mental health in particular, too. And of course, as we get to Eid, we'll start to see that not only the traditional money gifting that was once the mainstay of many Muslims who were growing up, we also see gifting for children and peers and family, and that will take all sorts of forms. <laughs> Muslim pockets will be affected by the rise in inflation just as much as anybody else. And I think audiences will be thinking about how they celebrate Eid, the first big Eid celebration that we'll have had in two years since all the lockdowns have lifted, while being quite acutely aware of the fact that prices are going up. And where they strike that balance, I think, will remain to be seen. Brands, of course, can help by ensuring that the range of offers that they have can help people to enjoy Eid in a meaningful way without having to put themselves into financial difficulty. So the key trends in gifts I find that are a lot of tableware and we do a lot of um, trays and cups and things and the reason that they're so kind of um, usable for people and they use them to give gifts are also because they can use them all year round. They don't say Eid or Ramadan on them so they're really versatile. So we find that that's one of the biggest trends and in terms of decor we, we usually try and follow mainstream businesses which are selling for birthdays or Christmas and then we can see what's on what's on trend and we can kind of utilize those ideas to Ramadan and Eid.
a lot of the Muslim community, they've all come from abroad, most of them. So now it's like a third generation here and there's more disposable income for people. So that makes a big difference and we are more influenced by obviously living in a more English environment. So even though we're not celebrating Christmas, we're celebrating Eid.